This video was made possible by Nizizi International, the official African diaspora clothing brand. Visit NiziziShop.com for more information. For years, the shadowy Wagner Group has wielded brutal efficiency and Russian backing to dominate the private military scene in Africa, particularly in the war-torn Central African Republic. Their tentacles of influence are stretched across the continent, but whispers of change are brewing. An American paramilitary company, or PMC, has now entered the fray. This American PMC is reportedly in serious discussions with the Central African Republic to be its new go-to security partner, replacing the Wagner Group, which has a long-standing partnership with the Central African country. This new player promises to shake up the game, potentially sparking a dangerous and unpredictable duel for influence in the murky world of African proxy wars. So, what is this new American PMC, and why are they desperate to overthrow Wagner on the continent? Also, what implications could this move have in the Central African Republic and on Africa at large? Join us in today's video as we explore answers to these questions and more in detail. Before we dive into our topic today, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channels and ringing the bell to be notified about all our exciting future videos. American private military company Bancroft Global Development has confirmed that it is in talks with the Central African Republic about future activities, a move experts say is an effort to push Russia's Wagner Group out of the conflict-torn country. In response to media queries, the American PMC denied having deployed in the Central African Republic capital of Bangui, but admitted that it was in contact with President Faustin Archange to Adera's government. Beginning in July 2023, Bancroft agreed on a framework to discuss possible future activities with the government of the Central African Republic. That is all, a Bancroft spokeswoman said in a written statement on Tuesday, December 26, 2023. However, according to French news outlet Radio France International, Bancroft's employees are already in Bangui, and a private military outlet is looking to create a well-equipped, trained, and supervised Central African unit to control and protect mining concessions. The French newspaper also claims the PMC is seeking land near the capital to deploy its technical means, particularly observation drones. According to unnamed sources close to the CR president, Bancroft is already in the country, but not yet operational, and that negotiations are ongoing, but nothing has been signed yet. Bancroft operates in conflict-affected areas, with a particular emphasis on Somalia, where it builds capacity for the Somali National Army and the African Union mission in Somalia. According to Bancroft's website, the largest single funder of the Washington-based firm's activities is the U.S. State Department, and now Bancroft Global Development is looking to manage mining sites in the Central African Republic following Washington's push for the former French colony to stop relying on Russian-backed Wagner mercenaries. Presidential spokesperson Albert Yaloke Mopim explained that the Central African Republic's pivot towards the American PMC was simply the country doing work to diversify its relations in terms of security. But according to the French daily Le Monde, Washington offered the Central African Republic a security agreement at the end of 2022 for President Touadara as an incentive for distancing itself from Wagner completely. Since then, Touadara's office has secretly been working out the details of an unprecedented agreement with the American security consultancy firm Bancroft Global Development to replace Wagner in the country. The Wagner Group acts as a shadow extension of Moscow's influence in Africa. Their emergence on the African scene was akin to a silent predator entering a crowded savanna, taking the entire continent and Western nations like France and America by surprise. They offer war-torn nations like the Central African Republic ruthless military power against rebel groups in exchange for access to resource-rich territories or lucrative mining concessions that reportedly helped the Russian government weather the international sanctions imposed for its 2022 invasion of Ukraine. The group also exploits anti-French sentiment across Africa, offering their services as new security partners to former French colonies who want French soldiers out.
This not only bolsters Russia's economic and political sway in the region, but also sows discord among Western-aligned nations, weakening their influence. However, their methods are often brutal and accused of human rights abuses, further destabilizing fragile governments and stoking resentment among local populations. While the extent of their activities and ultimate goals remain shrouded in secrecy, the Wagner Group's presence in Africa represents a significant shift in geopolitical dynamics, prompting concerns about resource exploitation, escalating conflicts, and potential challenges to Western interests on the continent. Tuaivira has historically been reliant on Wagner. He welcomed hundreds of mercenaries from the Russian paramilitary outfit into the Central African Republic in 2018, officially to train the army, according to Moscow. But by the end of 2020, Wagner's presence in the country had been leveraged to cur a rebel offensive on Angli. Their ruthless efficiency pushed back rebels, consolidated government power, and secured lucrative mining concessions for themselves and close allies. Indeed, Wagner mercenaries now control major mining facilities, such as the Ndasama gold mine in the heart of the country. Tuadara became even more reliant, with Wagner mercenaries not only bolstering the military, but even reportedly guarding him personally. However, America saw a window of opportunity to compete with Wagner on its territory and end the Russian paramilitary outfit's hegemony in the Central African Republic and across Africa following the demise of the Wagner Group's leader Yevgeny Prigozhin. Prigozhin led a failed mutiny to overthrow Putin's government in June 2023. He subsequently perished in a plane crash in August 2023, an event that plunged the Wagner Group's future on the African continent into uncertainty. Russian Deputy Minister of Defense Yunus Bek Yevkurov visited the Central African Republic following Prigozhin's death and reassured its leaders that Moscow was committed to the country despite Prigozhin's demise and that the Kremlin would take over Wagner. But it appears Moscow has slightly underestimated the power vacuum Prigozhin's death would create in the Central African Republic and throughout Africa. Wagner is somewhat currently weaker without Prigozhin, and now Western countries like America are eyeing new windows of opportunity while Russian authorities seek to reorganize Wagner and make it operate at peak levels, like when Prigozhin was alive. In summary, the introduction of the Bancroft Global Development PMC on the continent is simply America's way of trying to beat Putin at his own game of relying on paramilitary outfits to advance interests in Africa. Recognizing the vulnerability of Wagner's position after the demise of its leader, Yevgeny Prigozhin, the U.S. has seized the opportunity to replace Russian influence with its paramilitary capabilities. Bancroft Global Development, backed by the U.S. State Department, is engaging in discussions with the Central African Republic to assume a significant role in the country's security apparatus, aiming to replace Wagner's long-standing partnership. This geopolitical maneuver not only underscores the competition for influence between the U.S. and Russia, but also raises concerns about the growing role of private military companies in shaping the destinies of African nations. Indeed, replacing Wagner with Bancroft in the Central African Republic's security landscape throws open a Pandora's box of uncertainty. It could potentially escalate regional tensions, fuel anti-Western sentiment, and deepen Cold War-style proxy conflicts, all while risking increased human rights abuses and civilian casualties. Across Africa, it might further militarize security solutions, heighten competition for resource-rich nations, and complicate ongoing peacekeeping efforts, potentially plunging the continent deeper into a destabilizing web of competing foreign interests. As superpowers engage in this intricate chess game, it is imperative for African countries to exercise caution when aligning with PMCs, safeguarding their interests and resources to prevent becoming pawns in broader geopolitical struggles. What do you make of America trying to replace Russia's Wagner Group in Africa with its PMC, the Bancroft Global Development Group? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. And as always, do subscribe to the New Africa channel for more informative future videos.